Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to discuss the use of text or block programming tools in order to develop your IoT applications. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I will discuss between the use of text and block programming and I will just simply uh, discuss which is the best tool for you in this, in this case. Then I will uh, present uh, a tool that I have developed, it's called Facilino and uh, I will explain you the motivations be be behind this uh, application, when to use it, when not to use it and why it's uh, a good tool for uh, being used in IoT applications. So in my opinion the text block uh, programming it's a discussion that it's, uh, you can see many many block entries that the people who is in favor for text programming, people who is in favor for block programming, this depends in my opinion if you want to learn, you want learn to code, so means that you want to learn the basis for coding then probably your text programming uh, it's the best option for you. But if you want to code to learn something else then probably the block programming it's a, 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 good, uh, a good tool for you. So uh, you, you will find as I said many many entries uh, and many, many uh, articles discussing these, these things so here I'm showing you some of them so you will see opinions as I said uh, pro uh, text programming and opinions pro block programming so it's up to you uh, to read them and to get your own conclusions. So in my opinion text programming and more specifically uh, when working with Arduino IDE it is based on C++, okay, so C++ is a good language for uh, programming microcontrollers, it's object oriented and it's well structured. It has a lot of libraries, they are basically maintained by the community and also for particular users. So this means that these libraries, some of them have a good documentation, some of them they, the documentation is not that good, so that's an advantage to have a lot of libraries but some of them are not well documented. In general I have to say that Arduino IDE is simple and easy to use compared to other development environments and some drawback if you're let's say if you're not uh, used to text programming or you're not a programmer then you need to remember the API continuously so means that you have to access to the documentation to, uh, to see how this instruction was used. I, myself I need to do this, this task uh, continuously because I, I'm not able to remember all the API obviously. And, um, it can be complex for some users, especially if you're not an experienced user, if you need to do some complex tasks like handling pointers, managing memory and things like that, so then things become messy. And obviously as any uh, text programming tool if you don't uh, know how to program it's always uh, prone to compilation errors and you have to debug your code and, and uh, make sure that you, you write the correct sentence, syntax. On the contrary, block programming uh, exposed the users to the fun aspects of programming so they focus on creativity, uh, creativity and, and, uh, and design so they don't care about the syntax itself. Uh, with a simple block you can generate many lines of code so uh, some codes could be reconfigurable, they could be intuitive to use and in general they require less memory or effort remember how to use it because they are quite intuitive. So uh, I think that it's a good, uh, the block programming it's a good tool for simple programs obviously it's a kickstart for many many situations and um, students, most of the students uh, learn programming without uh, noticing so that's a good thing too and uh, one important thing is that some people uh, believe that the block programming tools are childish, I don't think so, they are not necessarily childish as, as you will see with Facilino in my opinion it's not a childish tool, it's a, an advanced tool which simplifies some advanced features too but also can be used for uh, young learners obviously. Uh, in general uh, block programming tools might be difficult to maintain large programs because uh, then becomes a lot of complex to, to visualize all the, all the blocks and uh, some of the tools are not uh, well standardized but they are quite similar so they have some similarities. Um, also as a drawback the, uh, these uh, visual tools are not uh, obviously accessible for uh, students with visual uh, disabilities. So uh, the question in my opinion is 
if you are a programmer or not a pro uh, of you are not a programmer so if you're a programmer or has a lot of experience for uh, in, in text programming then you will find hard to use this kind of log programming tools but you know that not everyone is a programmer here I'm just simply showing you an example how web pages they started they started by developed HTML code and this code uh, could be uh, very complex to maintain if you want to do or want to create a, a web page from scratch then uh, soon we realized that web pages were for selling products and then we need to introduce a lot of nice and attractive features to them so the most uh, common type of user develop web pages was not itself a programmer but it was a web page designer which was focusing on the user experience and many other things and not specifically on the code so I'm just simply bringing this example to show you how complex could be the text programming or how, how easy it could be to use a specialized tool for a specific task like designing a web page so uh, in block programming tools specifically working with microcontrollers we have several of them I'm just simply showing few of them okay scratch is one of the most uh, widely used tools but it's not itself for uh, microcontrollers although there's a version which is called scratch for Arduino it is simple to use uh, but in my opinion it's mostly uh, intended to be to develop games M block it's a mixture it's, it's based on a scratch in my opinion it's quite childish it's simple to use and, and you can use uh, use it for uh, programming Arduino for instance then we have Ardu, Ardu block. Uh, it's simple but, um, but has some advanced features too uh, it's integrated in the Arduino IDI so in the end you can uh, you can uh, see the um, the code is generated but it's uh, in my opinion it's, uh, fully outdated so it's not maintained anymore and then uh, in, uh, in Facilino what we have is some advanced features but yet it's simple it's quite simple and the most important feature is that you're not, not only able to program Arduino but you're able to program the ESP processor so it's quite suitable for IoT applications and also an interesting feature is that you're always uh, capable of seeing the code you're generating so you can learn a lot by uh, studying the generated code so let me introduce Facilino. Facilino is a block programming tool based on Blockly. Blockly is a library developed by Google. I'm the maintainer, I developed and uh, I'm maintaining the, the application and just simply as a summary it has a lot of features that you might be interested to use like the basic instructions which will be included in any block programming tool, communications with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi but also a specific block instructions for IoT, robotics, for generating music, for reading information from sensors, also instructions for generating user interface like OLED, LED matrix but also interacting with push patterns and also instructions for uh, generating a web interface or to control uh, a system with for instance with a PAD. Uh, it is a freemium uh, application means that a lot of uh, features are free but uh, some of them features they require a license okay and it costs 10 euros and we use this, uh, this money for maintaining obviously and develop new features for, uh, for the application so it's for us obviously it's very important you can support us by uh, obviously by this, this license we will give you more information uh, on, the, on the video description it's an open source code so you can uh, download it here and uh, modify it to, to your own interest if you want so the main idea with Fatlino is that in my opinion it's filling the gap so it's not a, child, a childish uh, block tool so it is not the Arduino IDE environment so you have to program with the Arduino code it's something in between because you can use the, 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 the facilities of the blocks and to create really advanced, uh, advanced uh, features but in the end you can use it to generate the Arduino code and you, you can see this code and you can modify it and adapt it to your own interests so here I'm just simply describing when I think it's uh, interesting to use Facilino when you have to kickstart with some electronics when you have few experience with microcontrollers specifically with robotics or IoT and so on when you plan to use it with young learners uh, it's very interesting because uh, this tool it's, it's been used for ages from above 10 and uh, 
and when you look for complex tasks that you don't know how to start with and uh, then it's a good tool to, to learn how to use it. But as I said, it's not for child. I mean, it can be used for child, but it's not a childish application, okay? And uh, particularly you can, uh, you can see it, actually my students use it as a code generator and they, they use this application and they, they, they give them the, 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 the preliminary input for start their own uh, developments. Uh, I, don't th I think that you should not use Facilino if you are primarily interested in learning how to code, okay? Because although Facilino will help you in this process at the beginning, uh, sooner or later you will, be, you will need a text programming tool. And if the number of blocks or the, the kind of application you are trying to do is, uh, requires a lot of blocks, then this could be a little bit messy. messy. And um, if you need uh, some advanced features that are not considered yet in Facilino, obviously this is not the tool for you. So just simply for you to consider, if you are thinking about IoT, please uh, take a look to the Facilino app and you will see how easy it is to use. And all the videos I will I'll document for about Facilino and how to use them. Thank you very much for your attention.